Hi, this is Zobble 1975 and today I've got a special treat. This is the Noob Warrior in League Play. So I think this is the third episode of the Noob Warrior series and we decided to drag him into League Play. Now, obviously a few weeks ago I posted his first experience of League Play, which was a French modder beating us within 30 seconds by cheating. However, <laughs> this was our second attempt at getting Sineda into a League Play lobby and we got Capture the Flag and I think the other team were three Master Division players and one Platinum. They weren't particularly good, but obviously they were more used to league play and allegedly of a higher caliber than Schneider. And I've got to say, we did give Schneider or Stewie a few simple instructions. In the second round here, he was actually going negative at the start of the round. He did a good job in the first round of holding people up and good use of positioning just to be a threat and delay people in cutting off the flags and me and Elliot were able to top the team cap a couple of flags and give us a cushion and a lead now you'll see one of the other team has left at this point so the game is fundamentally over there's two master division players out there and one platinum player out there and the challenge for Snader at this point we left him was to patrol around the base and see if he could get kills against these guys and to see if he could finish with a positive or at least not negative KD and Snader stuck to his task really well he rotates and hovers around the three areas that are likely to lead to people capping the flag, listens to the call outs and responds accordingly, which is kind of exactly what you want your teammate to do when you're playing capture the flag. And me and Elliot are able to just cut loose and relax, knowing that Schneider was back here doing a really good job of playing that back end sweeper role. Normally you'd have an AR back here doing this sort of role, but Sinead was quite comfortable doing it with his Scorpion, which is his preferred gun. So we didn't see any sense in trying to change it up or make him use an M8 or anything like that. Stick with what you're good at. And Sinead's strength so far in Call of Duty is his reaction time and his close range shot. His long range shot's a little bit iffy at times, but close range, he reacts really quickly and he decimates people, especially with the Scorpion, which is Pepper's preferred gun and known as the Melt Machine. Now, Schneider, like I say, is up against two Master Division get players and one Platinum player. Yeah, he's out-reacting them, he's out-shooting them, and he's slaying them down. Now, admittedly, they're rushing and panicking trying to get to the flag, and he's patrolling around listening to call-outs. So a lot of the time he has an indication of where they're coming from. But he hits his score streaks in league play. This was much better than me and Elliot expected him to be able to do. We were very impressed. He had a lot of fun. We played a few league play games. And he wasn't you know, a complete drag on us. He wasn't struggling too much. He quite enjoyed himself. He had a go at ranked play in Advanced Warfare and that went a lot worse. Now, because Advanced Warfare doesn't have a theater mode, I can't bring you Snader's eye view of that. But trust me, Advanced Warfare and the Noob Warrior are not a thing that goes together. So. We're going to start simple with baby steps. We're going to stick to Call of Duty's where you stay on your feet and don't leap around. Because while he is able to get decent scores in some TDMs on Advanced Warfare, he struggles a little bit with the ranked play. Ranked play on Advanced Warfare is a completely different animal to League play on Black Ops 2. League play on Black Ops 2 is still quite a tough and challenging environment for him. But he understands the game mechanics a lot better and the movement. So there's no extra tier the skill factor in black ops 2 is basically gun skill the skill factor in advanced warfare is very much movement and gun skill 
and I haven't mastered the movement, I can be honest, and I don't think I'm in any position to give anyone tips on how to better their movement in advanced warfare. However, I do feel confident that I can give people a few pointers when it comes to playing Black Ops 2, given my amount of days played. So there's Nader, managing to go from going negative in the first round, pulling it back, and it ended up with an even score, and we win comfortably 6-0 in a capture the flag game in league play. And that's all for this episode of The New Warrior, and thank you very much for watching.